out of Elton John. Yeah. Okay, so who's your favorite pop composers? My favorite pop composer? I like very much Barry Manilow. In fact, me and my dad went to see him in concert live. Um, and you know, normally, I guess, kids my age, they don't listen to Barry Manilow. It's mainly rap and all that stuff. Uh, but I like to listen to more adult music stuff that's from the oldies, you know, like I love uh, 50s music, 60s music. Like what, for instance, what would you be playing us on Friday, maybe, that we would know, a contemporary 60s? Uh, well, let's say there's also Can't Help Falling In Love. I, I think that's probably the 50s, I'm not for sure, but that's from Elvis Presley. Yeah. Um, and I have a whole bunch more on the list. Uh, I can't remember by memory the name. Uh, there's, uh, I'm learning currently Dean Martin. Uh, I'm learning Frank Sinatra. So, uh, when people come to uh, the restaurant to listen, uh, they will know that song, rather than the songs that kids listen to on like Z103.5, for example, or something. Gotcha. Uh, this is Nick B. talking to uh, Mara the Richter, and uh, Mara, as I said, is very young man. Like, Mara, you're about 18, am I right? Correct. Okay, now what school do you go to, if you don't want me asking? Uh, it's okay. I uh, actually I graduated from West Mount Collegiate Institute. Okay. Uh, it's down at uh, Bathurst and you know Promenade Mall. Yes, I do. I know. Right beside there, and um, also I I, uh, I graduated with my diploma and everything. Got high marks, uh, and I'm planning on going to Hamburg College actually for piano for music uh, uh, theory. What do you want to do with all this, man? Um, when I'm older, I'd very much love to be a concert pianist. Okay. Uh, and uh, I love, uh, what's that violinist name? Uh, very, Isaac Froman. Isaac Froman, yeah. He is amazing, amazing, amazing. And even though he's not a pianist, I, I still see, as a musician, we can both relate to each other. And when I see the emotion that he expresses through the music, or even from Lang Lang or any other composer or musician, I it, I just I feel this connection and I want to experience that uh, playing that in front of a big audience. Mayor, are you at the level where you could play, say, something like uh, Goldberg variations, Box Goldberg variations? Uh, yes. Really? And you, you, if somebody asked you to play that, you could play at least some portion of it. Uh, yeah, I, I obviously I'd have to practice, practice it first. I, sure. I never uh, um, played it like fully a full song. I played it mainly by ear uh, for fun. Okay. Uh, but I would love to learn his songs, uh, Glenn Gould's uh, music, uh, for from piano lessons and perform it in front of a big audience. That would be very nice. You know, we're, we're talking about, you know, obviously Glenn Gould's version, which is famous, he made. Uh, yeah. Box, the uh, Goldberg version is so famous, and uh, in fact it was used in movie soundtracks, including uh, yeah. Terminal Man, which is the one context that I heard it in. This is Nick B. Tuck and the Mayor uh, Gorekser. We're going to be a little later hearing some music by Joanna Moon, who is going to be uh, the Quebec artist, singer somewhere. She's going to be on my show on August 25th. And then we'll be back with uh, my second guest, uh, Terry Fallis. And uh, that, I want to thank Melissa um, for providing uh, Terry Fallis for our show. And a little later, we'll, in the, probably next time we're talking to Bruce Lord on September 8th. That's again, thanks to Melissa. Mm -hmm. You listen to CIUC 89.5 FM on your dial. We're also on the worldwide internet at www.ciuc.fm. You just go there and then to listen live and you get the link. You can also hear us on Rogers Cable, channel 946. And you can also uh, get the link for this show or any CIDT programming by going on Nick B. Radio Personality on MySpace and go to the Listen Live link and hear us. Now, I just got one more question to ask for you. Thank you again for being on the show, by the way. No problem. Um, your parents, how, how supportive has your family been? Oh, well, very supportive. Uh, when it came to uh, playing at other events, uh, uh, private functions, or uh, at r other restaurants, 
they were there for me and uh, always been there, there for me in fact. Um, and when it comes to practicing the piano, they always push me and push me. But what I can say is that most kids, uh, I guess, it's probably, it's a known fact that a lot of the kids that uh, play piano and they end up quitting is mainly because their parents would push them to play. But, uh, and they didn't like it, of course, but uh, me, when I was about 13, uh, 14 years old, I fell in love with playing piano. Uh, and from then my parents would just push me along uh, to try harder and because of that and their motivation I got much better and uh, that's how I got to this point. And you are at this point and we're going to be seeing you play at uh, Michelle's Browser 162 Cumberland just east of Avenue Road in the heart of Yorkville in Toronto, uh, Canada. Hey, Mayor, thanks so much for uh, being on the show. We'll have you back at some point, and maybe we'll have some recordings of uh, some of your piano. Thank Please. you very much. I appreciate it, and uh, have a really great night. And also, thanks to the staff and everyone who's listening. Uh, uh, by the way, Mayor, are you going to be having some of your family there to watch you perform? Yes. Uh, my sister would love to come along, and she thought she could bring her friend or something. Uh, my dad would love to come along. Uh, and uh, my mom, I'm not sure what she's doing that night, but <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we'll see. Okay, uh, Mayor, thanks very much, uh, and I'll see you Friday. Thank you very much. Have a good night. You too. Take care. Well, it's Mayor Garifter on CLUT. Uh, he's going to be playing Michelle Brasserie, and it starts at 8 o'clock. I'm the host. And with the... Uh,